excited to be here. I'm so grateful and so humbled to see all these beautiful people here for the premiere. I love London. I love the, pe the people in London. It's, it's just a wonderful experience. Well, I mean, I have a soft spot for London. I've lived here for, God, for two summers, once doing a movie and then did The Elephant Man here. And I really love it. Uh, and Glastonbury is a big part of this movie. So uh, it means a lot to me to be able to bring it here. Well, I think it's a surprise all around her because she, everybody knows she's a wonderful artist, but she's also now an incredible actress. And Bradley, who knew he could sing so well. Uh, so with each of them, I think the movie's a discovery about both of them in different ways. So audiences, I think, you know, they're wowed by it. Uh, but they do such a remarkable job, you know, both of them. And of course, it's, you know, for his directorial debut, Despite his experience, which is, you know, is a lot of it, um, it's still pretty remarkable debut, I think. Uh, it was extraordinary to see him come alive as a director. We all knew what a brilliant actor he was and a brilliant filmmaker, but he hadn't actually been in charge of a set as a director. It was like watching a guy get oxygen pumped into his, into his body. I mean, he took to it immediately. He was decisive. He's a consummate filmmaker. You know, he's edited probably six movies on his own leading up to this, and um, he really paid attention when it was Clint and David O. Russell and the people he's worked with, Cameron, and um, he's up there with all of them now. I can't say enough about Bradley Cooper. I mean, he's just a tremendous filmmaker, a tremendous director, a tremendous actor, singer, musician, songwriter in this film. I, I'm so happy to be by his side here tonight with the whole cast. Well, I'm so thrilled to and honored to be a part of this film. I mean, this is an amazing opportunity, and the fact that it's, you know, with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper, not only as a lead, but also a director and co-writer, it is truly a dream come true. Lady Gaga being first and foremost, for sure, and once he met her, he knew he could make the movie. But, you know, unlike a lot of directors, he didn't really rely, I mean, even though we had a great casting department, he's the one that went to Ohio and got Dave Chappelle to do this movie and met Andrew Dice Clay for an entirely different role and said, he's Ali's father, you know? So it was really Bradley who cast the movie. So I play a drag bar owner and you'll see that Lady Gaga has a very special relationship with the drag bar owner and we're kind of like a family. What's been created in this film, you know, this film is full of emotion and a love story, but it also has a great feeling of family and community. So it's nice to see that in this film. It was such an honor, you know, uh, you know, I saw that he had a vision in this film and a story to tell and he believed in me so much and he really fought for me to be uh, the leading actress in this role. And, you know, there can be a hundred people in the room and 99 don't believe in you and just one does and it makes all the difference. So I'm just grateful that he believed in me and I believe in him so much. I loved it. I really loved it. It, it was the most uh, fulfilling I've ever uh, been artistically. Uh, I guess the, the biggest challenge was uh, just the fortitude to keep going, you know, because it was a long process and you can't really see the light at the end of the tunnel for a good half of those that process. And that's always uh, sort of get up knowing that you're going to be digging a while before you come, you know, you, you find anything. Well, you know, the story is uh, one that I know, uh, but it's also one that was a challenge for me. You know, my character is uh, very different from how I was. I really believed in myself when I went out to fight for my dreams. And Allie, my character, she's given up on herself and she doesn't believe she's beautiful. She doesn't uh, believe that she can make it in the music industry. She doesn't think that you know she has anything to offer, that it's over for her. Uh, so I had to go back more to my childhood where I felt bullied and, and not pretty and not good enough uh, for that part of the role. But I, I was really just drawn to you know everything about it, uh, the vulnerability, the authenticity of the film. And you know we sing everything live, and it, it just it was it was a spectacular experience. My hope is that you know the only reason why I would want to make a movie is for it to hopefully do what movies have done for me and continue to do for me, which is um, inspire, heal, all of those things. And movies are such a huge part of my life. Uh, they can expect a roller coaster, the roller coaster of a star being born. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching.